بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم delivered a speech one day and said أذكركم الله في أهل بيتي أذكركم الله في أهل بيتي أذكركم الله في أهل بيتي Fear Allah regarding my Muslim relatives Fear Allah regarding my Muslim relatives. Fear Allah regarding my Muslim relatives. It is important for the Muslim to learn about the Prophet والسلام, and about the people of his household, his children and his wives. We say that the Prophet والسلام, had seven children, four females and three males. The first child was Al-Qasim. He was a male child born to the Prophet ﷺ before prophethood was bestowed upon him. And by him, the Prophet was named Abu Al-Qasim. However, he did not live long. After Al-Qasim, the Prophet ﷺ had Zainab. She had two children, one named Ali, who died young, and one named Umamah. And she is the one that the Prophet used to carry while praying. Umama married our master Ali after the death of Lady Fatima. After that, the Prophet والسلام, had Ruqayya, Umm Kulthum, and Fatima. As for Ruqayya, our master Uthman radiallahu anhu married her, and she gave birth to Abdullah. After she died, he married her sister Umm Kulthum. That is why he was called Dhun the one who had the two lights. Then Umm Kulthum passed away. The Prophet والسلام, told him that if he had a third daughter for marriage, he would have given her to him. As for Lady Fatima, عنها, she married Ali. And she gave birth to Al-Hasan, al Hussein, and Muhsin. She also gave birth to Zainab and Umm Kulthum. However, Muhsin did not live long. And after receiving prophethood, the Prophet والسلام, had Abdullah. He was called Al-Tayyib and Al-Tahir. Also, the Prophet had Ibrahim when he was in al Madina. All of the Messenger's children came from Lady Khadija except for Ibrahim. He was born to Maria, the Copt. Ibrahim was born in the eighth year after the migration. The Prophet named him, shaved his hair on the seventh day after his birth, weighed that hair, and paid the weight of that hair in silver as charity. He also slaughtered a ram for him. And the Prophet cried when Ibrahim died in the tenth year after the migration. These are all the children of the Prophet, seven in total, three males, Al-Qasim, Abdullah, and Ibrahim, and four females, Zainab, Ruqayya, Umm Kulthum, and Fatima. As for the Prophet's wives, the first was Lady Khadija, the daughter of Khuwailid, he married her before receiving the revelation, when he was only 25 years old and she was 40. She was a wise, clever, and intelligent woman, and she was a wealthy trader. The Prophet والسلام, traded with her money and made a great profit. She sent a servant of hers named Maysara with him, and he saw amazing things from the Prophet when he told Khadija about what he saw, she married the Prophet, and she was the first to believe in him. She supported him and protected him, and he never married another woman for as long as he was married to her. He lived with her for a long time, and she was a blessed woman, who lived long enough to see him receive prophethood, to see the day when revelation came down upon him. When the revelation came down on him in the cave of Hira, after his first encounter with Angel Jibreel, he went to her house and she helped and supported him. 
Lady Khadija died before the migration by approximately three years, and the Prophet used to love her very much. He used to say, Inni ruziqtu hubbaha. I indeed have been blessed with love for her. Lady Aisha said that one day the Prophet mentioned the good traits of Lady Khadija, and that had an effect on Lady Aisha. So she said to the Prophet, لَقَدْ أَبْدَلَكَ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا Indeed, Allah has given you someone better than her. So he said, لَا وَاللَّهُ مَا أَبْدَلَنِ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا لَقَدْ صَدَّقَتْنِي حِينَ كَذَّبَنِ النَّاسِ وَآمَنَتْ بِي حِينَ كَفَرَ بِي النَّاسِ وَأَعْطَتْنِي الْمَالَ حِينَ حَرَمَنِ النَّاسِ No, I swear by Allah. Allah did not give me someone better than her. She believed me when others belied me, and she believed in me when others disbelieved in me, and she gave me her money when others deprived me. Khadija is the one that Lady Aisha said about her, Ya Rasulullah, ka'annahu lam yakun imra'atun illa Khadija, O Messenger of Allah, as though there hadn't been another woman other than Khadija. Aisha says that the Prophet ﷺ used to slaughter the sheep and distribute meat to the friends of Lady Khadija in memory of her. After Lady Khadija's death, the Prophet ﷺ married Sauda, the daughter of Zam'a. She was an older woman towards the end of the Prophet's life. So she gifted her turn to Aisha because she knew the Prophet's love for Aisha. She said to the Prophet that she wanted to remain his wife so that she can be his wife in paradise. After Sauda, the Prophet married Aisha, the daughter of Abu Bakr, and she was the Messenger's beloved one, and she is the best of all women after these four, Lady Maryam, Lady Fatima, Lady Khadija, and Lady Asiya. Thus, she is the fifth in rank. So the best of women, absolutely, is Lady Maryam, the mother of Jesus, may peace be upon him. Then it is the daughter of the Messenger of Allah, Fatima. After that, it is her mother, Lady Khadija. And after her, it is Lady Asiya, the daughter of Muzahim, the wife of the Pharaoh. The fifth is Lady Aisha. And the Prophet died on her day, between her chest and her throat. He had put his head on her, and his honorable saliva met with her saliva. The story of that is when the Messenger of Allah والسلام, was on his deathbed, and the pain became excruciating. Her brother, Abdul Rahman, came in with a siwak. The Prophet was looking at the siwak. When Lady Aisha saw that, she said, Do you want it, O Messenger of Allah? He signaled with his head that he does. So she gave him the siwak. But it was too hard to use. So she said, I will soften it for you, O Messenger of Allah. And he signaled with his head that he accepts. He was in pain, alayhi salatu wassalam. She softened the siwak with her mouth, and then she gave it back to him. And that is how her saliva met with his honorable saliva, alayhi salatu wassalam. And this is amongst Lady Aisha's blessings. After Lady Aisha, the Prophet married Hafsa, the daughter of our master Umar. Once, the Prophet had divorced Lady Hafsa. So Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet and said, Ya Muhammad, inna Allah ya'muruka an tarudda Hafsa, fa innaha sawwamatun qawwama, wa innaha zawjatuka fil jannah. O oh Muhammad, Allah commands you to reinstate Hafsa as your wife. For indeed, she is a woman who fasts a lot and stands in prayer frequently, and she shall be your wife in paradise. After Hafsa, the Prophet married Zainab, the daughter of Al Harith. Then he married Umm Salama. After that, he married Zainab, the daughter of Jahsh. And here we'll pause briefly. She is the one about whom the Prophet said, 
أسرع كن لحوقا بي أطول كن يدا The first of you to die after me is the one with the longest hand. The wives of the Prophet started comparing their hands. It was Zainab who actually had small hands who was the first to die after the Prophet. Then they knew that the Messenger of Allah meant the most charitable. The lengthiness of the hand here refers to extensive charity and generosity. And many troublemakers say about our beloved leader, the Messenger of Allah, that which pushes us to defend him. They claimed that the Prophet liked her and sought from her husband Zayd to divorce her. God forbid that the Messenger of Allah do such a thing. In reality, Zainab was a relative of the Prophet. He knew her since youth. However, her story is that the Prophet gave her in marriage to Zayd, who was his adopted son before adoption became prohibited. She used to come to the Prophet والسلام, complaining to him about what happens between her and Zayd, those problems that a man and his wife would have. The Prophet والسلام, would say to Zayd, أمسك عليك زوجك as mentioned in the Quran it means keep your wife and Zayd happens to be the only companion mentioned by name in the Quran Allah the Exalted said فَلَمَّا قَضَى زَيْدٌ مِّنْهَا وَطَرًا زَوَّجْنَاكَهَا this means when Zayd fulfilled his need with her we gave her to you. Zayd used to be called Zayd, the son of Muhammad. And Allah revealed what means, Muhammad is not the father of any of your men. And the Quran came down with the prohibition of adoption. When Zayd fulfilled his need, means when he divorced her. The Prophet did not command him to divorce her. And Allah giving her to the Prophet in marriage refers to a special marriage that was without the normally conducted contract, without a guardian or witnesses. It was merely written in the guarded tablet that Zainab would become his wife at such and such time. When that time came to pass, she was his wife. This is why she used to say to the other wives of the Prophet, Your families gave you in marriage, while Allah gave me in marriage from over seven heavens. She did not mean that Allah lives over the seven heavens. She merely meant that her marriage to the Messenger of Allah is recorded in the guarded tablet as a special marriage. And the guarded tablet exists above the seven heavens, below the Arsh. All the Muslims know and believe that Allah is not in the sky or above the sky. Allah exists without any place. Allah is not in need of places or directions. He existed before them, without them, and Allah does not change. After her, the Messenger of Allah married Juwayriya. Then he married Rayhana, the daughter of Zayd. Then he married Umm Habiba, whose name was Ramla, the daughter of Abi Sufyan. After that, the Prophet والسلام, married Maymuna. The Prophet والسلام, commanded us to love his household, and that includes his honorable wives and his children. Therefore, his wives are the mothers of the believers in terms of respect and honor. And Allah gave the wives of the Messenger of Allah particular rules, such as the obligation of covering their faces. And Allah did not obligate the other women of the nation to do so. O oh, Messenger of Allah, we love you we love your wives, we love your children, and we love your descendants. We ask Allah, the glorified and exalted, to gather us with our beloved prophet and leader, Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, with his wives, the people of his household, and his beloved companions in the afterlife. Indeed, Allah is over what we request from him, all-powerful. Walhamdulillah. والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله and Allah knows best